Rathish. No one cared, Sussexes brought their own photographer to NY for a PR stunt but backfired. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle brought their photographers to New York when meeting with New York Mayor Bill de Blasio and Governor Kathy Hochul. Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, went to New York to attend the Global Citizen Live concert in Central Park on Saturday, which aims to push for greater action to combat climate change and urge rich countries to share 1 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccines with nations most in need. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited the city's memorial for the September 11, 2001, attacks on the World Trade Center. WNBC reporter Romney Smith recalled how Meghan and Harry's photographers and media were outside of the media huddle. Ms. Smith told the royally obsessed podcast, The five-minute queue happened four different times and then they said two minutes. At one point everyone got really, really quiet because we saw a couple of other media people and we were like, who are they and why are they in front of the line? That's when we realized it really is two minutes because this is their photographers and their media people because none of us knew them. Harry and Meghan spoke about vaccine equity with a United Nations official before they join a concert in New York set up to promote the topic. Deputy Secretary General of the UN Amina Mohammed said she has been speaking to Harry and Meghan about the issue among other fields they care about deeply including climate action and mental health. This comes ahead of their attendance at Global Citizen Live, which is being staged in New York's Central Park and around the world, and calls on leaders to adopt a vaccine equity policy. The couple were pictured in front of the UN logo alongside Ms. Muhammad on Saturday, with Meghan wearing a beige blouse and trousers with an auburn jacket, and Harry wearing a black suit and blue tie. Ms. Muhammad, the former Environment Minister for Nigeria, shared the picture in a tweet, saying, in conversation with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, sharing how to engage on issues we care about deeply, climate action, women's economic empowerment, mental well-being, youth engagement and vaccine equity. The UN is hosting the 76th General Assembly, which has been attended by global leaders including Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Global Citizen Live is one of several shows being held in cities from London to Lagos by the organization Global Citizen, with artists including Ed Sheeran, Sir Elton John, Kylie Minogue, Metallica and Coldplay scheduled to perform. Harry and Meghan's visit is their first public appearance together since the birth of their daughter Lilibet in June, and their first major public trip post Meg's sit. The Duke of Sussex is to return to New York to present the inaugural Intrepid Valor Awards to five service members, veterans and military families living with the invisible wounds of war. Harry, who has just carried out a trip to the city with the Duchess of Sussex, will be back on the East Coast for the Salute to Freedom Gala at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum on November 10. The event, held aboard the historic aircraft carrier Intrepid, comes the day before Armistice Day in the UK known as Veterans Day in the US. Harry, who served in the British Army for a decade, was stripped of his honorary military roles post Megxit. Author Duncan Larkham claims the Sussex's heavily publicized trip to New York shows the royal feud is far from over and would have totally baffled the palace. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's trip to New York was a huge two fingers up to the royal family and shows the royal feud is far from over, a commentator has explosively claimed. Another royal commentator slammed the New York trip as an embarrassing reality check where police officers outnumbered fans to check where police